Greetings, and welcome to the sum of three squares equals a fourth square. Yes, Pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared, but we can also have the so-called Trithagorean theorem, which is kind of a made-up name. a squared plus b squared plus c squared is d squared. And how does it work? Well, you can begin by picking a number, and I'm going to uh, pick my marker in the meantime. I'm going to choose a fraction, two-thirds. And I'm going to add one to that fraction, one plus two-thirds. I'm just going to call one and two-thirds. That's a mixed number. Then, next step multiply two-thirds by one and two-thirds and if you do that multiplication and simplify make it a mixed number it'll be one and one-ninth and finally add one to that product one plus one and one-ninth just add the one onto the whole number part of that mixed number Ooh, two and one-ninth so I am claiming that two-thirds squared plus one and two-thirds squared plus one and one-ninth squared equals two and one-ninth squared. Is that really true? Well, we can check. I notice that I have a 9 in the denominator, so it looks like I'm going to be dealing with some 81's in the final denominator, so this, I'm going to be raising these fractions to the terms of uh, 81. Anyhow, 2 thirds squared is 4 ninths, and that equals uh, 36 over 81. 1 and 2 thirds squared Let's see, that's 5 thirds times 5 thirds, that is 25 ninths. And I'm just going to draw a line here to make this clearer. And how many 81st is that? Multiply top and bottom by 9. It's 225 over 81. One more fraction to add on. 1 and 1 ninth squared, that is equal. Let's see, that's 10 ninths. 10 ninths times itself is 100 over 81. I am predicting their sum is 36 plus 225. That's 261 plus 100 is 361. These all have the same denominator of 81. Just leave the 81 in the denominator, adding fractions with like denominators. Claiming that final sum is 361 over 81. 2 and 1 ninth squared, let's uh, do the math. 2 and 1 ninth, let's see how many ninths is that. 2 times 9 is uh, 18, plus 1 is 19, so I rubbed this 2 out. 2 and 1 ninth is really 19 ninths. And this whole thing is squared. 19 times itself, 361. Well, looks good, the numerator looks good. And 9 squared, 9 times 9, is 81, so we don't need the question mark anymore. Uh-huh, the checks. Yep, it worked with 2 thirds. 2 thirds, added 1, 1 and 2 thirds, multiplied them, 1 and 1 ninth, added 1 to the product, 2 and 1 ninth, added these all up. When they're a square, two-thirds squared plus one and two-thirds two squared plus one and ninth squared equals uh, two and one ninth squared. And I'm starting to stumble my tongue a bit because I just enjoy this stuff so much with these squares and these fractions. And thanks for watching. And I also have a demonstration with a whole number, which you may have seen earlier. And this also works with decimals, complex numbers, irrational numbers. Yay. Uh, thank you for watching.